Hello students, welcome back to part 4 of our algebraic expression and formulae. So uh, in this part, we will just uh, do some uh, consolidation and applications, miss some word problems, right? So far, so the first one, we say find the difference between 3y minutes and 25 seconds, giving our answers in seconds. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we should take note straight away is that the units are different. Okay. So to find the difference in seconds, we have to convert the 3y minutes to seconds. So how do we do that? Well, 3y minutes is actually uh, 3y times 60, right? In order to get the seconds, correct? So we work this one out, this is 180y, right, seconds. So once we have this, we can find the difference. Okay, so the difference. Let me spell difference properly. Ah. Difference is 180y minus 25y, which will give us 155y seconds. There we go. Okay. Um, second question that we want to try, we have uh, factor, also factorized this fully. Uh, so, uh, what we can actually notice straight away is that we have uh, something common here. So, if there's something common, we can uh, you know, extract common factor. So, we will have um, x plus y, sorry, a plus b, that's the common one. Let's try again. a plus b, and then what we have left is we have x plus y minus y plus x, right? So let's simplify this. This will be a plus b, and then we have x plus y minus y minus z. That simplifies to a plus b, and we have x minus z. There we go. Okay, next question. Simplify the expression, this one, right? So, uh, what can we do here? There are, of course, a few different ways to do this. Okay, what, um, what I will do this is that I will have n squared minus. Now, over here is a special identity, right? n minus a times n plus a is actually n squared minus a squared, right? So, that will give us n squared minus n squared plus a squared, where the result is a squared. So they say, hence, right, by substituting a suitable value for n and a, find this value. So I'm going to compare this and say, okay, in this case, okay, uh, uh, this is my, okay, let me write it in a different color. This is my n squared, right? And so this will be my n minus a, and this will be my n plus a. So just doing a quick comparison, I should be able to see that my n is actually 16947 and my a will just be 3. Right? So what is the value? Well, let's let's work it out, right? So um in this case, okay, 16947 squared minus 16944 times 16950, right? This is going to be just my 3 square, which is my a square, which is equals to 9. So the value is 9. See how it works? Beautiful, right? So elegant. Well, next one, if 2 times x minus y squared is uh, 116 uh, and xy is 24, find the value of x squared plus y squared. Well, uh, this is what we can do, right? We can start from here. Okay. Let me under like highlight it instead then i'll change back to my pen so 2 x minus y squared right equals to 116 right so x minus y squared is equals to 58 which is 116 divided by 2 and we expand this this will be x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals to 58 right so my x squared plus y squared is equals to 58 plus 
2xy. Now, 58 plus 2xy, we know that xy is actually 24. Okay, so this will give me 106. Right, next question. Consider three consecutive odd number odd integers. Okay, uh, the smallest of them is uh, x. Find the sum of the three integers. Okay, so the sum equals to x plus. Well, the next odd number is going to be x plus two, right? And the x next one will be x plus four, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we work this one out. This should be three x plus 6 okay. and part B part B given that the largest is Y find the sum of this three so now instead uh, instead of dealing with X we'll deal with Y right so the largest of them is Y which means the next one okay uh, the largest of the three is Y the, the next one will be Y minus 2 right and the next one will be y minus 4 it works the same way right so you work this one out this will be 3y minus 6 okay so let's see what it says what can we say about the difference between the largest and the smallest of any three consecutive well what's the difference so the difference is that the difference will always be 4 Okay, the difference will always be 4. So let's write it down in proper English. The difference will always be 4. There we go. Right, next one. Uh, a student wrote the following working. Okay, so we have some working here. And what we are trying to do, we are trying to find the mistakes. There are three mistakes. Describe the mistakes. Okay, let's find a mistake. Okay, maybe I use red pen because uh, you know when we are dealing with mistakes, it's easier, easier to do red pen. So the first part looks fine. Uh, we have a situation here, right? Okay. So what happened is over here. Okay. From seven to twenty-one. You actually multiply by 3, right? From here, you actually multiply by 3. But did this student do that? Okay. Which means that if the numerator should multiply by 3. So this portion here should multiply by 3 as well. And when you multiply by 3, this is definitely what you are not going to get. So there is the mistake. Okay. So the mistake number 1, okay, is over here. Right? This should not be 14, okay? Uh, this should be 2 times 3, which gives us 6, right? And then this portion here is also a mistake. You should not be changing this portion over here, okay? So that is the terrible mistake over there, okay? Uh, is there another mistake? Well, another mistake can be found towards the very end, right? So over here should be a positive. Okay, because we have negative here times a negative here, it should be positive. So three mistakes over there. Okay. So describe the mistake. Well, the first mistake is at line one. Let's write it down. Set line one. Okay. So over here, um, Yeah, two mistakes. Both is line one. Well, we can write it right, 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 write it accordingly. Okay, sure. Why not? Right. Okay. Uh, line one. Okay. The numerator. Oops, not number. Numerator. Numerator. should be multiplied by um, 3 
right? Instead of multiplying by seven, okay, right? Then in line one again, okay, right? The terms in the bracket should not be multiplied right and finally in line 5 right in line 5 okay um, when we minus or minus a negative it should be positive there we go okay so uh finally the question is asking uh is there a way to check our answer whether our answer is correct without going through the entire set of working sure right we can substitute right substitute How do I spell this? Substitute a value for x to okay, test if the expressions before and after the simplification give the same value right so if you do it properly you should give the same value okay so with this i hope you have a good understanding of algebraic expression next up we will be dealing with algebraic equation all the best